Hello YouTube, Al here, and this week we're going to be giving my friends Squire another tweak. So, I gave this a tweak last time and I gave it back to him, and it's been a while. Um, and to be honest, it just needs a little, little tweak still. Uh, maybe again, I think it might have just wavered out of setup as, as these things will do over time. But the main thing I notice when I look at it is, you see the bridge... Oh, you can see underneath there, you can see the trem block. So you can see it's lifting a bit. And you can see that's causing the action to get higher and higher. So the, it gets closer towards the nut. And as you go up, you see the strings are actually getting higher and higher off the fretboard. Which is not what we want. We want it to be pretty, pretty even. Um, with a little bit of dip or relief around this sort of area. Because um, otherwise it'll be too flat and the strings will fret out. So... Um, yeah, what we're going to do is take the back off, you'll see the back of the trem there, um, there's a trem claw with springs in, and we're going to tighten the claw a little bit, so let's do that. I'm going to skip out me uh, just taking the back off, because it's really boring, so I'll see you in a second. So the back plate's off, and you can see in the back you've got the bottom of the claw here, which is the, uh, sorry, the block, which is what the, which is what the plate on top is connected to and the springs that go through to the claw here so we're going to take a screwdriver I'm going to use a bigger one and the important thing with this is to go a little bit each side you don't want to go too far one side with this because then there'll be too much tension on one of the screws and it will just pull it out and pull the other one out after that which is not fun um, you can fix that. There's a video of me fixing that on my Arbanez, so you can go look that up. But basically, it's wood glue and toothpicks. Pretty self explanatory. So, we want this trim to come back a little bit, so I'm screw it in. I want to be careful not to strip the screw hole. That's not what we'd be after. So if you look now, I'm going to do it from, from the same side. You can see now the bridge is a bit, bit flatter and a bit further back already. See, and that's going to pull the action a bit closer. Still need to do it a bit more, but it's already looking better. And again, I'm being careful not to strip these two screws because it's a real annoyance if you do. Okay, so I've done a little bit other side. You can see it's still an equal distance from the wall of the cavity. And that looks a lot lower now. There you can see it's floating, but a lot less. And... Ooh, Bloody strap out the way. And now the action is more even along the neck. It's not perfect by any means, but it's a lot, it's a lot better. Yeah, it's a bit better. I still want to do it a little bit. So I've given it another little tweak, and you can see A, the bridge is a bit closer, B, the action's a bit more even along the neck now. Um, next thing I'm going to do is, because the neck is very, very straight, not a lot of relief in, so I might put a tiny bit of relief in and then I can lower the saddles. Tiny, it literally is like it's like a tiny little quarter turn. It really is a small amount. <sighs> That's going to give it a little bit of a belly, kind of around this sort of area. And uh, yeah, it's only slight, but it means that when you fret down, it's not laying flat against all the frets it's very slightly sort of that sort of thing so it goes over the the next frets rather than just being flat and then dead so 
I will probably lower the saddles a little bit in a few minutes when this is settled. Right, so I've got a tool, I'm just gonna adjust the saddle slightly. There you go. Check you're going the right way. That looks better already. Still a bit high though. It's amazing how like a really, really small difference at the bridge, just doing a tiny amount, does make the action feel a lot smoother, well, uh, sorry, it makes the guitar feel a lot smoother uh, and more easy to play. But obviously too much and you'll get it fretting out. So it's balancing the height of the string, the relief in the neck and uh, the nut as well to be fair. If that's too worn then you're in for a bit of a hard time. So I'm just going to lower these saddles a little bit more. While I'm here, I'm gonna get some spray and spray it in these grub screws because it's they're filthy. Multi-purpose de rusterer Put a little bit just in these grooves. Right, there we go. That's just a little tweak and now I've left it a couple of minutes and the neck's kind of settled. You can see that the action is, well A, the bridge is not as high, and B, the action's come down quite a lot. So, I mean I'm biased because it's my, my video and I can say what I bloody well like, but to me, it's out of, now out of tune because I've lowered the saddles and everything out, but it feels a lot easier and more comfortable to play than it was before. One thing you do have to note when you're adjusting the saddles down this end is the nut up here um, and the height of the first fret because this is about right to be honest but if the action, if you lower these saddles too much the action at the first fret can be too low and then you'll get buzzing. So if you can see that's, that's really quite nice there. If I do say so myself because that's quite low. Um, so I'm just going to tune this up, give it back to my mate. So, thank you very much for watching. My name's Al, and I'll see you next time. So, until then, bye-bye. Bye! -bye. bye.